Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in the many pieces of Mr. Koo. This was developed by Gamera Nest, published by Meridiam Games and is usually available for £16.74 or $19.99. So we play as Mr. Koo, who is some kind of futuristic blob bag or something, who is stuck in a weird world where everything is strange and nothing isn't strange. Damn, son, it's owl strange. Uh, but our job here is to, well, get out, effectively. And you'll see what I mean by the weird, but genuinely wonderful art style and everything about this game. Now, as for achievements, the majority of this list is story-related, but there are five miscellaneous achievements to grab, too. Getting attacked by a chicken, kicking your own head with your legs, watching your own torso get burned in lava, Yes, you'll see what I mean. And also two sort of collectible achievements. And that's for just getting one and then 100 notes or papers, whatever. But please note that you can only get the notes or papers, whatever you want to call them, after you complete the game for the first time. Uh, but all in all, it's a great, wonderfully weird point and click adventure and should only take around one to one hour, 10 minutes to complete. So with that being said then, let's do it. And a lot of this is, uh, well, I say a lot of this is unskippable cutscenes, but you're basically looking at sort of one full playthrough and then about a half for the notes and papers afterwards. So, but uh, one full playthrough should only take you around 30 to 35 minutes. So here we are then. Mr. Koo, bold futuristic blob bag. We're going to click on the apple. A lot of this game as well, especially if there's no commentary or anything, it may seem like, what are you supposed to click? as we click the present from this weird glove hand, the old Michael Jackson hee hee hand. Sorry, let's not speak ill of the dirt. Okay. And then at this point, you're thinking, what should I do next? And all you gotta do is just wait and wonder what the goddamn hell's going on. So next up, after arriving by Limousine Present, go ahead and click on the curtains for another scene of sorts. And thank you to the kind um, hee hee hands I'll just call him hee hee hands, you know, the Michael Jackson classics. Uh, he gets a rope down, so we'll click on the rope. And old chunk nose right here, we'll open it up. And then we can click on the arcade machine in the background. Okay, so what we're going to do first then, on the right hand side, we're going to use the lever. And then old uh, coo bags will open it up. And then we have to get through this puzzle. Now, how we do that is click the blue button in front of us twice. And that'll get out two characters. One uh, hee hee hand. And we get one old grumpy old pirate. Uh, click the red button. And this ain't going to go too well for the Flying Dutchman. Right, so after that one is done, we then need to click on the red lever here. That will open it up on the left. And then we need to click on the right hand side lever again and that'll get a light going and that is going to reveal it's monkey time one of those chimps right we have to be quite quick here so what we need to do is well you don't have to click on the monkey because he just gives us a whack on the head which apparently we've got no big head so we don't have a brain we've got more nose than head so that's good in some parts but anyway click on the lever to the right next to you quickly interact with the trap door and monkey will fall down again if he uh, just gets back uh, quicker than you just do the same thing uh, repeat the same thing use the lever and then interact with the trap door then you can interact with the blue button twice again but this time interact with the old hee hee glove hand and this time yar will win Thank you. 
Damn, bruh, that's a bit aggressive, huh? Anyway, we have a present, so let's grab that present. Again, where the hell we are, we don't know, but anyway. Ah, never mind. Anyway, that'll be our first achievement of the game, actually. Punch and Judy. And that is obviously for solving the arcade puzzle right there. So now you need to click on the spotlight once again, rather than yourself. So click on the spotlight, and he'll go sniffing for the present. Thank God, spotlights have a nose. Who knows? Well, we knows, because we've got a big nose. Anyway, interact with this big bush of something, and then interact with it again. This time we can interact with the hill going down and old uh, nose nuts will go towards the treasure chest so we'll try and open this chest a couple of times obviously and luckily it's not one of those Dark Souls big teethy boys but there's going to be a bird in the top left hand corner of your screen so interact with the bird and then that bird is going to drop a feather and then it's going to get all Dark Soulsy without the Dark Souls in it at all uh, but basically just pick up the feather and use it to uh, Tickle the treasure chest open, as you do. Ta da! We found it! We've got the present! I hope it's a toothbrush, because damn, that's some teeth. That's some teeth. Big teeth and a big nose we got on us. We are looking good. Anyway, um, it's about to go all hellish for us now. We're going to try and interact with the apple here. As we get another present, uh, another achievement for opening the present. Okay, so time to get reborn again. So what we're going to do, we will click on our character. So click on nose teeth. Click on the floor next to the chick. Now before cracking your way out of there, make sure to just keep clicking on the uh, chick's beak uh, about five or six times until we get the achievement for, uh, well, being attacked like hell by the chick. Again, this is the first of the like five miscellaneous very easily missable achievements, but anyway, if you do end up missing this for whatever reason, uh, there's always chat to select at the end of the game. So, to actually get out of the egg, um, what we need to do is pull on his leg. Now, when we pull on his leg, you need to quickly uh, click the blank screen next to his leg in order to avoid him. So, quickly uh, uh, click there and then click his leg. So, basically, you're clicking on his leg, moving out of the way, clicking on his leg again. And then just keep attacking that right-hand side eggshell in order to get the hell out. And then get the crack the eggshell achievement. 
Unfortunately, there ain't no delicious egg in here. It's just a big chick. Although, protein! Oh my god! No protein? Look how happy he looks. I'm so sorry. Man, I'm a douchebag. Right, that's it. I'm going, I'm going vegan. <laughs> we all know that won't happen. Um, but I do respect everyone who is vegan, apart from the vegans who keep continuously tell us they're vegan. Sorry. Sorry, vegan guys. So anyway, once we get to this screen, we're going to scroll to the left a couple of times. Now, uh, to get past this bit, you need to open up the house, first of all, or the house windows. Then click on the light bulb. Again, you can use the left trigger or right trigger in order to skip, um, or click on the pig's head right there, in order to get through to the next scene or whatever. Uh, but what we're going to do, we'll click on the pig's head once again. Now, what he wants is the chick to flatten us. So as soon as the chick comes racing by, just click on the chick. And then that will oh, squish him in the old bean bags. Mm, delicious. And then we've got whatever the hell these are. Okay. So scroll over this screen a couple of times again using the left trigger. Interact with the troll sitting down. And you just need to interact with this dream cloud a couple of times here. That'll get a rain cloud going. Again, as soon as the chick runs by, click on the rain cloud. So that Mr. Koo will grab him. And then we need to press the A button on the screen just past this umbrella lady. So not yet, but um, now where this sort of rock is. Get that one going now so that we'll get a cheeky little magic of the mush magic mic mushrooms going. And then we have a frog. So just continue clicking the mushrooms to the left until we get to Umbrella Lady. Then click on Umbrella Lady's umbrella a couple of times until it looks like a mushroom. And then click on the weird um, butt, butt frog once more. What? Okay, so that's all good. So now we're going to scroll over all the way until we get to the troll again. Click on his dream cloud once again a couple of times. And then again, once the chick starts roaming by, click the rain cloud. This time we can then use that rain cloud. So click it on the pot where that weird umbrella lady was just off. So use it now. And that'll get things growing. Showing. Man, I'd like to place my hands upon that ribbon. Sexy apple and squeeze. Right in my mouth. There we go. That's what we want. I mean, to be fair, that seems like a hell of a lot of work to go for one stinking apple, which has just been covered in leeches or whatever that is. Anyway, continue to click on the leech worm, whatever it is, until it gets into the bush. And then eventually we're going to be start being chased by a thing with many eyes. So, while the old Kunats uh, starts nipping over there, we're going to interact with this coin. And uh, don't worry about that. We ju we'll just continue clicking on the coin. So, keep, keep clicking on the mushrooms. Uh, so, the coin will go down the screen some.
And there we go. That's the first part of the game done. So we'll get the achievement called Many Pieces for getting cut in three. Now, I thought Many Pieces was more than three. So if you say, like, oh, I've got a couple of things. A couple is two, right? So basically, you say, I've got many of these. That just means you've got three of them. Right? I, I didn't make up the rules. I'm going simply from the achievement description. But we are cutting three, and we are just ahead right now. So... First things first, what we're going to do is interact on the box to the left, just where the, just where we came out of the uh, wet diamond ring box or whatever. Jump up there, click on the box again to get yourself a little hi-ho. And then just above us, we're going to interact with this bottle. And once that comes down, we have some eyeballs, plus we have a uh, champagne cork bottle, whatever it is. So get back up there then using the uh, ring box. And then right over the right-hand side, uh, jump on this sort of clown head type thing. And the thing next to it. And then just go ahead and interact with the uh, whatever that is. That thing, that old daily boy. So I get a statue going at the top. Um, now make sure to interact with the cork and then... Hit that at the new statue, the old Hercules if he ate more cake than steroids. And then just click on the actual clock next to it, he'll cut his own head off. Uh, more like... <laughs> looking more like um, Homer Simpson. Where, uh, you know that one episode where he was a cool cop and then they turned him into real stupid? Yeah, he kind of reminded me of that. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs! Okay, so once we've done that and the head's good, we're going to go over to the right again, interact with the levery switch, whatever it is, and that's going to break it, and that'll open up a new way for us. There's my torso. There's my torso. Let's go and get that son of a torso. Sorry, so what you need to do then, you need to click around the bottle, first of all, in order to get to the other side of the bottle. And then you can start interacting with the bottle to go into the next area. That's far enough. Right here should be good. Okay, so interact with the sort of right-hand side of the screen. And then interact with the uh, uh, little door there. And we can see some legs. Now, you can switch characters or switch body parts by either pressing the B button or the right trigger button. Whichever one you find easier. I found it easier to use the right trigger button. Um, so we'll just do that. Uh, but once we do, once you've pressed the right trigger, you can see that we've got a couple of things to do here. So, again, as the head, interact with the opposite side of where the eyes in the jar were. So that it stands up, and then we can get on top. And for some reason, a weird foot comes sticking out of there, because why not? As the legs, again, press the right trigger, and then as the legs, get up onto the chair. And then interact with the brick. And then we can press right trigger again to go as the head. And we can go up and then interact with the rope on the left. And that'll get us up going banging. Uh, go over to the right hand side. We are going to interact with this statue in order to get the uh, this big old stick bags down. Head to the left. And then you're going to stick that square in the hole. There we go. Job done. Uh, just move out of the way there as the head for now. And then we can click the right trigger to go back to our little legs, who are just waiting very patiently. Uh, interact with the foot pedal there on the right-hand side as well. And that'll get that down and up. But what it does is move the brick back in, so that is why we are doing that. Go back down as the head, interact with the stick, and that will actually go inside of the uh, prison cell. And then as the head, just stay where you are, or just interact with the door now as the head. So make sure as the head again, interact with the door. Then we can go back to the legs, 
interact with the pedal again, and his chunky old nose will be popping straight in. Oh, I think that's his nose. I hope it's his nose. Anyway, interact with the leftmost brick. Well, get onto the chair first on the right, slightly to your right, and then interact with the leftmost brick, because that's the only way we're getting up. And then we can finally click on the steps to the right in order to get up and get us another achievement uh, called Puzzle. So, uh, next thing, interact with the lever, or the sort of dangling switch right in front of us. Oh god, I bet that hurt. Although without the body, I bet it doesn't hurt that much. So, back as we are, yes, so we are, so we are, to the heads. So, nip up once again, and then we're going to interact with the very right-hand side. So, we can again grab the lever, and that'll get us going big time. Or, it's actually going to get the snake going in just a bit. Go back to the legs, interact with the uh, pillar right in the middle. The reunion is about to be short-lived because that weird snake thing will come out and try to attack. So, what you're going to do is interact with the foot pedal and then immediately click behind the snake in order to get behind him. And then, as the head, uh, you see, you ain't going to get <laughs> you ain't going to get far. But with the legs, make sure he's looking at you. And then, as the head, uh, press the button there to get him flying high. Which, I mean, if you're a snake, you would be extremely peed off. That you have such an easy weak point. <laughs> you can just get blown away. But off he goes. The deadly snake with the worst weak point in history. And we're back together again. Freedom Las Vegas. Okay, so we've got a bit of back and forth to do here. Next up, we are going to kick the bottle. Just so that it is on top of the other, uh, or on the other side. Then click with the other plank, the other side of it. And then we can just go and get back into the other room. Head will slowly follow, as it were. Um, right, next up, we are going to get rid of the... Oh, I say we're going to get rid of. We are going to free the Faun. So, oh, here he is. Look, so make sure the head's in the same area as us, of course. And then interact, as the head, interact with the uh, nail just in front of the fawn. Then, as the legs... Go ahead and interact with the head. Okay, well, well, goodbye. See you soon. Okay, so as the head, make sure to interact with the bike the plunger bike again you're gonna get you ain't gonna get too far with the legs on that one so make sure you are the head and then interact with the plunging bike plunger or the seat plunger whatever you want to call it so stick your noggin straight in there and then interact with the left hand side of this then as the legs just interact in with the seat itself and that's going to get us the furnace achievement for freeing Zeledia. Well, in just a minute anyway. So go ahead, go up to where the jar is, and we're going to kick this um, jar of eyeballs back down. And there it is. Give it another little smash, and that'll sort of pop it over to the other side. And then this time, we can go ahead, kick the eyeballs once again, and then that should free the lady bear bear. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hooray's m lots of many achievements. Right, so as the old legs go into the room at the sort of right hand side, or the top or the right hand side, whatever it is, uh, but nip yourself in there. Again, we've only got a few minutes left really now of the first playthrough anyway. So uh, now we, as the legs, we are now going to interact with that same uh, wooden board. That's going to fling us up there and really give us the ball by hit of life, which is just completely ouch. That'll get the gear going and that'll get the ale hop or alley oop or whatever it is anyway achievement. But that one is done anyway. So head now into the next area room again. And just head all the way to the left into the original room. Right, what you can do here, if you want to get the slapstick achievement, make sure as the legs you kick your head. And then uh, you'll get that slapstick achievement. We'll get that in just a minute anyway. But make sure the legs, for uh, first of all, are up to this part here. Now, you ha again, this is another, you have to be quite quick with this. But as the head <coughs> interact with this flowery box, and then quickly as go to the torso and give the clown's head a kick. Sorry, I don't know what happened to my voice right there. <laughs> um, and then that'll get the clown off. Now, this is actually where I do get the slapstick achievement. So again, make sure that you are the legs and then give the head a little kick. And that is the second miscellaneous achievement. So once you've slapped that square and the nagart, uh, as the head, we're going to climb up again, jump on or uh, interact with the uh, box ring in order to get yourself up as well. And then we're going to head all the way over to the left again. We're almost done. Oh, God. And by God, what an almost half hour it's been, huh? Uh, so once the head is here, again, interact with the switch or whatever that is to the right, just there. And that is actually going to move the pipe over to the right hand side. So that is the room that we need to get in back into the furnace bit. And then as the old big nose head interact with the uh, blow boy, the blow bags. And then as the legs use the other side in order to blow them up like a fruit ball. Ready? So, as the legs, then we can kick the ball. David Beckham uh, for England versus Greece um, to uh, get England to qualify for the uh, was it the Euros or the World Cup? I forget which one. But that epic, that yeah, yeah, just that epic David Beckham free kick, which he's done many, many times before. Anyway, kick him through the hoop. That's going to get us the key. Not yet, but it will in literally a second. There it is, and that will also get us the. That's the key. Achievement. See, I told you that's the key. I wouldn't lie to you. Right, so head to the left-hand side room in order to go back to the furnace section. Here is the old furnace section. Uh, head down a little bit again. And head into the, uh, once again, the original starting room. And then we're going to go back up to the top of the bookshelves or whatever it is. So hit the um, ring box again. A very eerie music for this part of the section, by the way. Uh, then we're going to use that switch again. So the tube in the furnace is going to point to the left. So we'll go back into the furnace bit, and then we're going to uh, then we're going to go again. David Beckham for England versus Greece type free kick, and then nip our knobs up the tube.
And this is more of a Dark Souls enemy, isn't it? Yes, a seemingly uh, conspicuous, uh, innocuous, sorry, innocuous looking cage turns into a giant spider. Uh, but once you can, interact with the clown's head as soon as the spider drops down and the clown's head appears. Interact with this button here on the right until you see the note, music note symbol. Click the red button lever on the left. And, uh, well, that's going to scare the crap out of this Dark Souls spider looking thing. And he's going to go to the furnace on the other side. Now, this is actually where we can get another miscellaneous achievement, but we're not going to until after the game. I'll tell you why in just a minute. But interact, with, uh, get the spring lever sign coming up, then interact with the, um, with the lever. And that's going to get lava going. Interact with your legs at the top there in order to run, rabbit, run! Right, so, uh, last thing we are going to do before the game's end, or the first game's end anyway, um, I, we need to get the body in uh, onto the piano rather than the legs, so make sure that the body is on the piano first, then switch to the head, interact with the le uh, button on the right one more time until it's the sort of arrow up icon, then interact with the lever on the left, and pop it out, woohoo! And this is now effectively the end of the game, so what you got to do now as the legs interact with the torso and then as the head interact with that. And now what I believe should have been the, uh, I mean if you've ever seen the Aristocats, everybody wants to be a cat. An absolute banger of a tune in my childhood growing up days watching those types of films. Aristocats, classic, classic. Anyway. Yep, they're going to go mad, and it's the end of the game. Woo! And then eventually, after all of that is done, we will get, you should get now get the two achievements for beating the game and beating the game without hints. In fact, I never used hints. I didn't even know which button to press in order to get hints up. Uh, just because I didn't even realize that there were hints in the game. Anyway, here is your chapter select. Now, there are two things. Uh, well, three things, actually. The first thing we're going to do is interact with the penultimate chapter, the one with the spider cage, 
This is in order to get the They're All Dead achievement, which again, we didn't get the first time, purely because there is a lot of paper that we can actually collect as well. Um, so it, it sort of, uh, you know, takes a few minutes off the overall initial second playthrough, as it were. Uh, but this is the point in case anyway. So once the spider eventually nips off before going under the clown's head, interact with the lever right there so the spider can bag her off. Then go to the right. Again, this is before going into the clown's head, so don't go into the clown's head. As you can see, there are a lot of papers that we can be grabbing here as well. Um, but all you've got to do then is just interact with the spider. He's going to dump our body in, and that's going to be the They're All Dead achievement. And again, like I said, the only reason I've done this now is because we can get a good start on the papers. Remember, we have to collect 100, and there are there's plenty more than 100, which is fine, but it's always good to have a nice big start. I think there's like 10 already in that in this room. So uh, go ahead and start collecting all the papers. You'll, of course, get the paperwork achievement for collecting one paper as well. And then once you're done and you've collected everything that you can, there's another two on the left-hand side. If uh, Some are very easy to see, some can be a little bit trickier. But again, yeah, that's why I started off with this first, so we can get a good start on it. Now, um, once you interact with the timepiece... Oh, there's another couple of papers here. Grab them too. Oh, four, actually. Jesus, mate. Uh, but once you've done this... Now, I didn't know whether I would edit out the places where there are no papers... Um, because I didn't know, personally, I didn't test it, I should have probably tested it, but I didn't know if you could just collect the notes on one page, uh, or on one screen, on one scene, and then just uh, exit, click the next chapter select, um, you know, and then keep going from there, because there's, there's papers not in every scene, as you'll be able to see. Um, so I didn't know if I could do that, so I didn't actually bother testing it. I ended up just playing it again. And again, we only need to literally play, like, it's more or less less than 20 minutes. Um, so I've just kept the game in again. But like I said, it's completely up to you. If you want to just go through each chapter select here and just see if there's notes in everyone, that may be a little bit quicker. Uh, if not, though, I have kept the next 20 minutes of um, in-game gaming. Um, so you can just... Simply follow along, because again, I is nice. But anyway, again, there's papers and notes not in every scene, but there is in this first scene. So before clicking the apple, make sure to click all of the notes here.
And just in case you're aware, obviously another thing, I won't be commentating. Um, I'll only be I'll only be commenting when we are at another bunch of notes. Uh, purely because you've played the game before and honestly it's very easy to know what you're doing if you've already played it through once. So again, before clicking on the present here, make sure to click all of the notes above. There is quite a lot. Once we nip our knobs down the hill here, there's another four or five to collect um, notes. So before interacting with the bird, make sure to grab these four notes. And again, as soon as we open up the present here, don't click on the apple because there are another whole bunch of notes that we're going to be collecting right meow. Right, when we get into the uh, angry chicken, this is how most of us sleep this is, by the way, isn't it? Just angry looking, but also beautiful. 
Uh, again, there are a whole bunch of notes in this section. So before exiting the eggshell, make sure to grab every note that you can. There's about six or seven in this bit. And even on this part, there's a, another couple that we can grab. So again, left left trigger, right trigger, go from screen to screen, of course. Um, there's only sort of a couple on each of these screens, so not too much. Um, but just go from left, uh, or just keep going left until you find every single note.
There's also another four it's, um, just in this area here. So again, just before interacting with the old worm bags, interact with the note. I didn't realize just how disgusting that worm was. I mean, fair play for him still crunching on that bad boy, even with a big juicy protein efficient worm in its gut. Anyway, grab the notes, do the worm, Not literally of course. So, uh, again, only a few minutes left. Now, if you did end up doing the sort of just chapter select way, um, please let me know if it was easier and uh, let me know in the comments below so then everyone else can do that as well. Because, uh, obviously, as fun and weird as this game is, as there's another bunch of notes here, obviously, the quicker, you know, we don't have much time these days, do we? We've got all stuff to do all the time. So, yeah, please let me know if you tried it the just chapter select way rather than playing through the game again. See, uh, let's help each other out right now. Which, to be fair, a lot of my subscribers have helped others out in the past because I haven't done something and somebody else has, which makes me pretty terrible at my job. But, uh, hey, everyone's still here, so let's not pay attention to that. Okay, so again, uh, once we've grabbed every note that we can here, remember what you've got to do here is get your head up, interact with the shelf at the top, throw the cork at the statue, and then get through into the furnace section on the right.
And for me anyway, and hopefully for you as well, when we get into the furnace section and collect the next couple of notes, that will actually be that. And we will have all 100 papers. Again, there are plenty more anyway, so even if you don't have it yet, just uh, continue to play. Um, but yes, and obviously, th that again, that was the reason why I left the They're All Dead achievement for earlier on as well, just so we could try and finish a little bit earlier. So once you've collected all notes in here, hopefully, if you're at the same point that I am, you would have got the collector achievement, and that would be all 21 out of 21 achievements. So I will leave it right here. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I really hope you enjoyed the, uh, the game. Like, these are just some of my utmost favorite games the weirder the better and i do hope that the guide helped as well if it did of course don't forget to like comment subscribe and share with a friend as well big shout out as, as always to my patreon supporters and my youtube members thank you so so much also make sure to check out my new podcast called gaming's darker side you can find on uh, all your favorite podcasting apps and i have my own youtube channel as well which i'll put in the description below if you fancy it but thank you again i'll see you in the next one Big love!